Hi there. I was involved in a Twitter chat the other evening where a suggestion was made that we should design training to be fun and pleasurable and enjoyable. And that statement is something that I've seen echoed in other various Twitter exchanges, blog posts, articles, conferences, and things like that, that should make, we should make training fun, pleasure, and enjoyable. Now, I'm not going to directly argue against that point at all, but I do think it's important to offer a counterbalance and a counter perspective to that statement. So here it is. I joined the army at 16 years of age. And I spent the next 16 years being in the military, being in the army. I was trained in various different fields and disciplines. And as I grew within the military, I also became an instructor and trained other people in a range of different fields as well. So I was on the receiving end of training and I was on the giving end of training. Now, if I think back personally to when I was on the receiving end of training, I really really struggle to remember any of the training experiences that were fun, pleasurable or enjoyable. It's a real struggle. I can't. If I flip the coin and try to remember training circumstances that were not fun, I can remember them by the bucket full. They were anything but fun. They were harsh, they were difficult, they were physically demanding, they were scary, they were exhausting. At times I was cold, wet, hungry, tired, physically broken at times. They were anything but fun, pleasurable and enjoyable. But I remember them. I remember them now, some 10 years after leaving the army, I still remember them. And I can also remember circumstances where I have applied that training that was horrible and harsh and, and demanding and physically tiring and painful, I can remember circumstances where I've applied that to a real context in the real world whilst on operations. So what's the point I'm making here? Well, Nick Shackleton-Jones does a great job talking about effective context. In fact, I'm going to place a link to an animation and a video that he's done below this video in the description um, or on the on the website page, on the blog post that, that links to that. I think that's what's important. Tapping into people's effective context, not worrying about making things fun and pleasurable, and enjoyable because people flock to those words. People don't like to think their training is going to be harsh, demanding, uncomfortable, physically painful. People don't like to think of that. So I think that we as an industry have, have dare I say, wrapped things up in cotton wool. We've sugar-coated things to, 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 to attract people to them. And I get that. I, I, I get that, you know. I imagine how difficult it is to sell something that's basically going to, to hurt people, that's going to make them physically and emotionally exposed. It's, it's a difficult sell, but it's not as easy as fun, enjoyable and pleasurable. But I think it's important to remember are we looking at making things fun, pleasurable, enjoyable, or do we want things to be memorable? Do we want things to stick? And for people, different people, that will mean different things. Again, check out Nick's video on the effective context. So to wrap up, I'm not down on fun, although it might sound like it, but let's not go into everything that we design thinking that it needs to be fun, pleasurable, and enjoyable. Remember, I can't remember any circumstances that were. 10 years after leaving the army, I can still remember stacks of experiences that were anything but fun. Have fun.